my Sagittarius. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly reading for November 27th through December 3rd. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. Happy birthday! I have pre shuffled this card. Or these cards. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and lay them out now. Now I have to remind you this may not resonate with you because it is for hundreds and thousands of people as a general reading. It's not a private reading. I will focus the camera in after I have all the cards laid out. the basis of your reading is the five of cups reversed so that tells me that many of you are getting over something it's like you know what I, I can't be here anymore so I'm over it you're over something you know that something something ended there was some kind of defeat okay like you were defeated or somebody else was defeated there's some kind of defeat loss and it's over you're not gonna cry about it anymore I'm done with it all right it feels like many of you have had this like awakening this epiphany and a secret became known, something came out, and you're like, okay, all right, I'm good, I'm out of here, all right, and I think because you're doing, because you've done that, you're manifesting something new, okay, okay, I see that you are, you create your future, and you're doing that, you are creating your future, this is the creation, the magician, you're using your resources to move on, you're really creating something more beautiful because you're not crying over the loss anymore. Yeah, there was a loss and it's over. That's the way I see it. Um, it feels like there's no more feeling sad. You know, okay, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to worry about this anymore. I'm not. I feel like many of you uh, are still... Um, struggling though you're still struggling somewhere because you haven't let go of something the hangman is here so that tells me that i mean it looks good like you've let something go but you're still struggling maybe that's in another area of your life this is intended to be a love reading we'll see what comes up this is for sagittarius you're still struggling you're still there's still some grieving going on over something and it's kind of odd because here it tells me that you're not. I mean, the five of sort, the five of cups reversed says, "I'm done with this. I'm just going to move on. I'm not going to cry about it anymore. I'm moving on." And so you let go of the loss. You know, you let go of it. But maybe it's just you have another step to take. You must be almost there. Have you forgiven completely? Maybe you've let go mentally. Maybe you have really. Maybe you've really let go, but you haven't forgiven. Because this is forgiveness, this Three of Swords. So maybe you just have another step to take. You just need to forgive somebody for something. Maybe somebody wasn't giving. Maybe you weren't giving. Maybe you need to forgive yourself. Maybe you have some regrets about lost time. Maybe you feel like you've lost some time and you feel ashamed. I don't know. I mean, it just feels like it's mixed up. Are you mixed up? I mean, it, maybe you're mixed up. One minute, it feels like you're heading in the right direction. You're feeling really, really good. You're on your way. You, you're creating your future. You know it. You're using your resources to move on. You're not going to stay in this mode of feeling defeated. But then on the other hand, there's a lack of self-confidence and a lack of self-worth. And you're still suffering somewhere. You're still not letting go of something. And I'm not sure what that is. Because, I mean, there's conflicts here, and I think they're inner conflicts <clears throat> in your head. It feels like maybe you feel like things are a little chaotic right now, or you feel like things are out of control. Maybe you're acting out of control. Um, maybe you're not loving yourself enough. Because, I mean, I see lack of self-worth here. 
Like, like you don't feel like you're worthy, even though you've let, that's probably what it is. You've let go of something that ended. Okay, there was a defeat. You've let go. You realize there's not gonna, nothing's going to come to fruition there. It's over. It didn't work out. I'm not going to cry over it. I'm moving on. But you feel like, okay, this one's gone. Now I'm not going to have anybody else. Now what? That's not true. That's not true. You have the power to create whatever you want with this magician card. You create your future, okay? You're heading in the right direction. I can see that it's mind over matter, and you're really mastering your emotions. You are. You're not there totally, but you're working on it, okay? And I feel like one door has closed. You let it close. You're over. You're done with it. You let it close. You released it. Goodbye. But you're, you're still not now. Your self-esteem has gone down. Because you let that go, you let it go. You're not going to focus any more, another minute on it. Now you're feeling like it was you, okay? Didn't work out because it was you. You don't look good, you don't do this right. You know, it's your self-worth, your self-esteem. You feel like it's you, it's not you. It's what's on the inside that counts. I don't know what any of you look like, but with this Empress card, it tells me to tell you it's on the inside what counts, okay? So if you're struggling still, even though you let somebody go, but you're struggling with your self-worth or your self-confidence or whatever, don't. Don't do that, okay? All you have to do is remain in control of your emotions. There will be times when you feel like things are out of control and things are out of whack and your wishes are never going to be fulfilled, but that is not the case, okay? You are heading in the right direction. You've made some really positive decisions, okay? And now it's time to give to yourself. Bring your self-confidence back. Bring your self-worth back your self-respect. You didn't do anything wrong, okay? Maybe you were rejected because this could signify a rejection. That person that rejected you, that's their loss. That's their loss, not yours, okay? So so lose that thought in your head. You're heading in the right direction. Yeah, you've let, you've let them go. You know it's not going to work out. You're not focusing on that anymore. Now you're focusing on yourself, but you need to focus on how beautiful you are, not how negative anybody else sees you. Because how you see yourself is how others see yourself. Okay? So however you see yourself is how the world is going to see you. Alright? When the Empress card comes out in a reading, and this is for male or female, it's time to bring your beauty back. Your inner beauty. Okay? It's time for a rebirth. Don't resist it. Look at this as a blessing in disguise, okay? You do have a soulmate. Don't fret. You do. Empress and Emperor, you do have a soulmate. You're heading in the right direction. Don't look back, okay? Your wishes will be fulfilled. They will. Right now, you need to work on yourself, on your vibration, on your soul. You need to go back in and do some more soul searching. And you need to struggle through this phase of feeling not worthy, not good enough. You are good enough. All right? It's time to bring your peace back. And it feels like this week you may not be feeling very peaceful. You may be feeling like uh, things are a little disorganized. There could be some, some angst. I mean, you may have it. Somebody else might have it. You, I think that you're feeling down with yourself, okay? And, you know, that's just an inner conflict. It really is. It's an inner conflict. There's no reason. You're not competing with anybody. You're not. There's no need to compete with another person. You are beautiful just the way you are. Okay? Remember that. Remember that. You are beautiful just the way you are. You need to look at something from a new perspective. Remember your good qualities because you have them. You do. And this is the surface card, the moon. <laughs> okay? Remember this. This is a big deal here for you guys. 
what's going on inside the house is not shown on the outside. Do you remember that? Can you remember that? Okay. So, remember that in your soul. And when you're making your next choice in love, remember the person is the person on the inside, not on the outside. Okay? When this moon card comes out, even though it's reversed, it means something isn't as it seems. It's not. So whatever you're feeling, that's you. You're feeling down. You're feeling unworthy. You're feeling like it was you. And that it's not true. It wasn't you. It's not you. You're perfect just the way you are. There's no need to defend who you are. And you may be feeling defensive, like you have to defend who you are, your beliefs, you know, anything. You 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 have to defend yourself. No, you don't need to defend yourself. You're beautiful the way you are, inside and out. Doesn't matter, okay? Stop telling yourself that it was you and that you're not good enough or whatever. Stop doing that. All right. I'm going to start shuffling for the next. Um, no fear. No fear. All right? Have no fear. You're perfect just the way you are. Remember, what's on the outside isn't what's on the inside. All right? And if people can't see you from the inside, then fuck them. You don't want them anyway. Some of you are dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You may be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Gemini. But I do have uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius pretty strongly here. Um, you want to get this base of your reading uncovered, okay? Because that's the basis. The Five of Cups reverse is the basis of your reading. Don't look back. Don't look back. Don't, don't even... The time is now. Live in the now. Remember who you are. Find your inner beauty and keep it. It's not a competition with anybody. It's not. The right one will come when you love yourself. Number 33. Your prayers will be answered. That's not what it says. That's not what the card says. But threes, your prayers will be answered. Have patience. Trust in divine timing. Everything happens for a reason. Appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. Okay? Find the love within yourself. Please. Please. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. Sometimes there are circumstances that seem challenging and don't make any sense at the time. It is important that you face what is happening so you can learn the lessons that are being taught here. Ask the angels to show you what is important in this moment. There's a lesson being taught here and it has to do with self-worth, self-confidence and self-respect. So Sagittarius, this is what I have for you for the, this week, and I will talk to you later.